How's it going YouTube? Dallas Boy here with my National Pokeball League Season 8 Week 9 Team Builder video. Um, this week we are going up against Astro J and the Montreal Hapsalls. Second best record in the league behind Gypsy at 7 and 1 plus 18. So, I've got my hands full this week. Great Battler. Not gonna be an easy matchup. With somebody as washed up as I am. <laughs> but, anyways, I'm just gonna be doing my best here. And on me, I have a team that I'm pretty confident with. And just gonna be packing some heat here. Starting off, I have this Reuniclus with, with a colder Polar Berry. And with the Overcoat ability, in case Amoongus wants to spore me or anything, Colbert Berry to Sponge a Houndoom's um, Dark Pulse or whatever. And I've got Psychic Trick Room, Focus Blast, and Explosion. Focus Blast to deal with um, Diggersby, Houndoom, and Mons of the Sort. Psychic for Stab, Trick Room for um, having my team, or, or some primary members of it, because this is not a very fast team. And then Explosion, yeah, I'll talk about that a little bit later. 48 speed EVs with, with a quiet nature to outpace Amoongus outside of Trick Room, maximum power, and then the rest shoved into bulk. So, Trick Room into Explosion. Why that on Arena Glyphs? Here's why. Aster's team does not have a very good switch in to a Mega Maw Island Trick Room. It kinda decimates him. Or at least breaks his walls. Brave, Brave Nature with a with near max HP and eight um defense EVs for the sake of bulk. Play Rocker Stab, Iron Head for Stab, Substitute in case he wants to switch out and preserve something important. And then Thunder Punch to deal with Foister, Samurott, and it also to a KO's Durian. So, Reuni Exploding Reuniclus in a Mega Mile. Gonna be pretty fun if I pull that off. But. I guess we'll see what happens. Next up, I'm kind of bringing the same set. Rotom Frost as a pretty decent-ish matchup this week. If it's holding the Scarf. 236 Speed Timid to outpace Mega Aerodactyl with the Scarf. HP Ground for the Tapu Koko. And Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, and Blizzard for obligatory stab. Not much reason for much else. So, kind of sort of bringing the same set as last week with this Rotom Frost, but. Yeah, I just felt like it had a pretty good matchup. Next up, we have a physically defensive Nino Queen with Stealth Rock, Earth Power, Shadow Ball, and Ice Beam. Shookaberry to Sponge and Earthquake from either Mega Aerodactyl or Diggersby. And then I can retaliate with an Ice Beam, which is packed for them. Earth Power. Um, Earth Power just hits a pretty good chunk of this team. Could be a Samurai over there. Possibly. Don't know. But I think my team handles Samurai relatively well. In some cases, don't know if he's gonna bring it. Don't definitely don't know if he's gonna be bringing a fling flame orb set. I did have that one of my mocks, burnt my mile. <laughs> uh, that was a fun time. Um, next up we have a Whimsicott. Um with uh, leftovers 
to get a little bit, little bit of recovery on. Um, max Special Attack Modest for maximum damage output. Moonblast Nature Power to um, pretty much catch a, um, who's a what's it? Mega Aerodactyl in Electric Terrain. It turns into Priority Thunderbolt. And that's pretty much dealt with there. You turn for Momentum and Giga Drain to get back a little bit of health. Um, 152 speed is to outpace Como. And 144 in Special Defense to better take on Tapu Koko. And last but not least, we have a Porygon 2 with Recover, HP Water, Thunderbolt, and Trick Room. This thing also has Trick Room to help out the Mega Mile. A little bit. Recover. Helps out in the bulk department. This is pretty much the backbone to my Houndoom answers. Hidden Power Water to deal with Houndoom and Diggersby. The 28 um, special attack EVs are to do a KO Houndoom with the analytic boost. Thunderbolt is for Cloyster, Samurott, Mega Aerodactyl. And mix bulk to better take on some of those threats. So, pretty much my primary hope is that he doesn't bring Durant. Durant will be a pretty big nuisance for the team. If the team just uh, doesn't get it speed up properly. But... This is Aster, this matchup is not going to be easy, but I'm hoping to have a little bit of fun with it. The, Re the Reuniclus set, definitely going to be fun. Especially if I get off that explosion and have Mega Mile come in safely and just destroy whatever's in front of it. But, I guess we'll see what happens, so... Hope you guys enjoyed this team builder, rate, comment, sub, and I'll see you guys for the week 9 battle. Goodbye.